Hello everyone, I'm Alan Taylor for WVMetroNews.com and National Signing Day, the talk of the college football world today, obviously. Good news on the West Virginia front where the Mountaineers signed 25 players from across 15 states in a class that Rivals.com ranked 25th nationally and Scout.com pegged at number 26. West Virginia's 2013 signing class attempting to address several areas of need, chief among those the wide receiver position where they must replace Tavon Austin, Stebbin Bailey, and J.D. Woods. In turn, West Virginia goes out and signs five wide receivers today. The leader among those is four-star recruit Shelton Gibson of Cleveland Heights, Ohio. He had previously committed to the Mountaineers and reaffirmed it early Wednesday, uh, choosing West Virginia over Ohio State, Tennessee, and 15 other big-time offers. Shifting now to the offensive line where West Virginia needs to replace some of their interior veterans who graduated. A big signee today was center Stone Underwood, 6'4", 285 pounds, out of Copia Lincoln Community College in Mississippi. The coaches described Stone as being nasty and game ready, so you got to figure that he'll be able to uh, at least have first dibs at stepping in for Joey Madison next season at center. Another notable signee, Marcel Lazard, a 6'6", 293-pounder out of Bloomfield, New Jersey. He's a kid who committed to West Virginia long ago, and according to Coach Bill Biedenball, has been so committed that he's helped recruit other players and even has had Country Roads as his ringtone on his cell phone for quite a while. On the defensive side, WVU placed an emphasis on finding pass rushers, which resulted in the signings of three players who project a defensive end or the buck outside linebacker role. The most intriguing of those physically is Devontae Henry, a rangy Juco player who ran the anchor leg on his high school sprint relay team. Henry stands six foot five but weighs only a biscuit or two over 200 pounds, so the WVU staff will aim to fill out his frame. Another Juco defensive end, Dontrell Hyman, is already physically imposing at 6'4", 265 pounds. D-line coach Eric Slaughter described Hyman as a beast, and Dana Holgerson said he's one of the players expected to make an immediate impact. Hyman shows WVU over offers from LSU and Mississippi State. West Virginia's already solid class added three crucial pickups on Wednesday, all from the state of Georgia. Lithonia High School safety Jeremy Tyler spurned Vanderbilt to sign with the Mountaineers, where coaches like his maturity and pad popping style so much that they can envision him being an effective blitzer out of the nickel package next season. The other two Peach State signees both come to West Virginia from Georgia Military College. Linebacker Brandon Golson and slot receiver Mario Offord both flipped their commitments from Arizona to WVU following assistant coach Tony Gibson to Morgantown. Alfred is a 5'9 burner who's comfortable working out of the backfield and has a chance to become a dual threat weapon in the vein of Tavon Austin. Of course, signing day pickups also come with holdouts, and WVU's connections suddenly turn cloudy with a couple of longtime running back commitments. Deshaun Coleman and Jackie Marcellus, both three-star prospects, had not signed their letters of intent as of Wednesday night, leaving Holgerson to say WVU may evaluate transfers for the remaining couple of scholarships that are available. Be sure to log on to WV Metro News for continuing coverage of recruiting and all things WVU. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alan Taylor.